What's going on you guys, Anto here today coming to you with another video and today we'll be talking about the Flight of Fear at King's Dominion in King's Island and what it needs to make it better. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. So a quick history about this ride, it first opened in 1996 as the first coaster to feature a linear induction motor launch. It opened, as I said in the intro, at King's Dominion and King's Island. The only real differences between these two coasters from these parks would be that it's just the thematic elements like the line and whatnot is just slightly different, but essentially they are the same ride and there's really no difference there. They still go zero to 54 in four seconds. It features four inversions as well as it's a height of 74 and they are both indoor launch roller coasters. Funny thing is I actually work this ride basically every day uh, in 2015 if I'm right or 2016. That was my first job working at King's Dominion which I absolutely love working the coasters. It was very fun and I had some fun times there. But as a lot of you know, maybe not some of the new people and new subscribers, I have a lights on video of this coaster of what it looked like on the inside and the outside. And uh, basically they found it because of how popular it got. And it's still today the second most viewed video on the channel. So I am happy about that. It's actually over, if I'm right, 50,000 now. So anyways, this coaster also used to have over the shoulder restraints. And as we talked about in my last video with Anaconda and it's over the shoulder restraints, the problems that it can cause. So they actually changed that. They changed the restraint from the over the shoulder to lap bars. Now this was a plus and definitely a minus at the same time because still either way, now it's very hard for people to get in this ride. Even if you're a skinnier person, it's still hard to get in this ride. I have a hard time myself. Um, it definitely doesn't have enough leg room. So one thing would definitely be to accommodate more space within the ride itself. That would be the first thing I'd say to make this ride better. And another thing would probably be for it to have more speed. Not so much on the launch part, but through this ride, most of you know who've ridden this ride, it tends to slow her down near the end. And right before you hit the second part of the ride, there is a block break before that. And that really slows down the ride fairly a lot. I personally think it, it really doesn't need to be there. It's the speed of this ride. That's the whole point. You want the speed of the ride. It goes literally zero to 54 in four seconds. So I would like to see that maybe not so much more force on the brake itself and maybe just slide through kind of like how you would do on Dominator. And this ride can actually get up to probably maybe 57, almost 60 miles per hour. Uh, depending on who's on and when there's no testing or such things. I mean, you can pump more electricity into this ride. It definitely could have another effect on the ride itself for sure. This could be one thing that really could be fixed. And I could see that happening maybe in the future or something. But uh, another thing would definitely be to fix the, the key line. Not so much the thematic element part, but the line for this is just crazy. Some days, especially during hot, the line for this ride can be almost three hours long, just like Volcano. Uh, they've changed Volcano's line various times, but it still doesn't really help or anything. I mean, I have fast lanes, so those are the two rides where you really are glad that you had bought fast lane. I mean, the lines are just crazy. It's not a long enough ride to seem like you would want to wait that long. In my opinion, it's just not one of those rides for me. The lighting inside the lines and the entrance to it is not very well either. I think they just need to replace light bulbs. Uh, it's, they want to add more effect on the ride, but you really can't see anything, uh, especially in some parts. I think it's kind of a safety hazard if you really think about it. Because if someone does get hurt, you really can't see anything. I mean, there's steps inside the line and whatnot. But that's one thing I think they could really work on for this ride. Overall, though, I think those are what really could make this ride better. And you would see a big change and difference in the ride itself. You get more people through and it just would be way easier. So to accommodate more people to allow larger people and as well, maybe make the train longer to fit more people on the ride itself for more cycles to make it faster. So all those three things would help so much. It would cut times down very quick. And that's one of the things about this ride 
they take forever during their cycles. Even when I was working there, it was almost five minutes just for everything to happen. And that's one of the reasons why the line is so long is because they take forever during the cycles from working it. And it seems like there's definitely a better way. They just don't want to do it. Another thing is that they don't have an automated spiel as well. But that's another story I'll do for another time. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as well as what you want to see next to make something better. So I hope you guys did enjoy once again. And until next time, you guys, peace out. <laughs>